Hello guys, uh, this is Jacob. So today I'm gonna go to uh, do a short tutorial on how to use Kago's free GPU to train your models. Um, so first go to the Kago.com and register an account. Um, so make sure that you did the phone verification because if you don't do that, uh, Kago won't let you to do the GPU selection. And then after the phone is verified, uh, create a, a notebook um, like this so um, you'll see basically um, uh, just a regular this is just regular notebook similar to the Jupyter um, uh, so for this tutorial I'm going to just show you like um, what are the options to uh, use the GPUs and also um, make sure that you uh, be able to maximize the uh, hardware uh, such as the disk um, by default, it's uh, about 20 gigs, but in fact, that's for uh, persistent storage. So if you want a, a larger space, um, which does not persist, you have to switch to a different directory. We'll talk about in this tutorial. Um, so for the first uh, block, you'll see that um, basically the path uh, is a default to Kaggle slash working. Um, so uh, if uh, you want to move to a different um, space, you just make sure that um, it, it first the directory is created. So now we created Kaggle slash temp, um, and then we basically try to see how big that space is. Um, and then we basically try to see how much uh, the space is for the default uh, folder. And then we'll um, check out the results here. So the uh, Cable temp that we created actually has a probably two terabytes of free space, but you cannot use all of that. Uh, I think Cable allows you to use up to maybe 70 gigs or 80 gigs, but that is big enough. Uh, that space is actually very stable and it's very comparable to the Collab, uh, Google Collab. And then we uh, also see this uh, default Cable slash working space, which is like uh, 19.5 gigs, like around 20 gigs. So you see that um, the Kegel temp is actually quite larger than the default one, but you cannot store uh, files on that persistently. You have to uh, basically um, store the persistent files on uh, Kegel slash working. So you have the options on the right side, persistence. You can persist variables and files and variables only, files only. So right now we choose the no persistence. So we can leverage the Kegel uh, other other spaces under cable. So um, if you want to run any commands uh, in the in the free space, you can just run regular uh, Unix command line. Like you can do a, a Python script and do a Unix command like free. So basically you've got the um, memory uh, size and also you've got, you can create uh, uh, files uh, in whatever directory you want to, spe uh, want to use. And basically run the command you'll see uh, we got 30 gigs about 31 gigs uh, of uh, memory uh, which is awesome and um, basically we just uh, also created all the uh, files and be able to uh, copy and paste uh, within your workspace because workspace is like a uh, like a like a, a just a virtual machine or it's a it's a kubernetes part so you can actually just uh, run your linux command under uh, that namespace so if you look at this one we actually created two files uh, one's um uh in uh kegel slash time slash test the other one is kegel slash time slash test two and you'll see that uh, be able, basically created under the uh, Kegel slash temp. Now we actually try to move that to the uh, directory that that has persistence uh, persistency. So uh, now you see in the uh, uh, this on the right side, you can see what actually in the default uh, uh, folder, and then everything in that folder is actually downloadable. So once you uh, train a model, and in the in the uh, other uh, storage space and then if you want to persist it you want to download it you can move it to the uh, kegel slash working name uh, folder so you can download that so that's what i want to go over for this tutorial um thanks for watching um
please make sure you subscribe and see you next time